This AL Abacus tool is very helpful for counting to 100 because it has 100 beads. Now, a record rack that goes to 100 does the exact same thing. I would treat this as, I notice, I wonder about this. I want students to be talking about this, that they see blue beads, yellow beads, and then yellow beads, blue beads. I want them talking about, hey, there's a group of five here. When all five, when all blue beads go over, that's five. And then look, when all yellow beads go over, that's five. And then we can confirm that. So we want to start with that. Then this I use in the classroom. When students are working at their desk, we've asked them to clean up, come down to the carpet. I will tip it like this. So that way they hear that sound and that is their signal that we are ready to count. So as soon as they're done cleaning up, they come down to the carpet and as they're walking and sitting down, they may join us. We are going to count by ones and then when we get to the 10, we're gonna add that in. So out loud, I'm counting that out loud, three, and they are doing the same thing, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Then we have a conversation about how many tens. We have one 10. One ten one, one ten two. I am purposely counting that way because when students get into those teen numbers, it's a little sticky. This helps make it not as sticky. One ten three, one ten four, one ten five, one ten six. What happens is when we have our students count like that, and then when we have them write it like that, one ten one, they're more successful. One ten two. 1103, 1104, 1105. Because what happens, students will write 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And they won't realize that they just wrote 51. In their mind, 15 is made up of digits of a five and a one. They just have it out of order. So if we can get them early on to talk in place value and count in place value, 1106, 1107, they're going to have much more success. 1108, 1109, 210. And I have this abacus with me as we're counting. So we counted 110, and now we have 210. 210 is the same as 20. As you go, you can go ahead and slide over a group of 10. How many tens? Three tens, four tens. And the more you work with this, this is more of an oral language, and then we transfer it to writing. You don't always have to have students write it out there. We want them to really understand this sticky area right here. And then as they do, they're going to understand what ones and tens are and be more successful. So this is first step into counting to 100 by tens and ones or ones and tens using the abacus. Enjoy!